Welcome to module five, video number six. In this part of XE course, we're going to be talking about XE SEO. This module is arguably one of the most important sections of the course. We're going to be talking about SEO, how to optimize your listings for SEO, algorithm factors, and how to optimize your entire store for SEO and get notice on the search results. So let's go ahead and dive in. So what does SEO stand for? So it stands for search engine optimization. And it's, impo it's important to optimize your listings in your shop by using SEO best practices. Plus keeping in mind that keeping in mind XE's internal ranking system to help improve the visibility of your shop and item listings in the search results for sites like Google, Bing, and Yahoo. Now, keep in mind that when optimizing your XE shop, you have to implement two important factors. The shop should be optimized for SEO, but done in a way that's user-friendly for customers. However, there are some important factors that you do not have control over, which is the XE search placement. So by practicing SEO best practices and improving how buyers find your shop determines which items appear and the order or placement in which those particular items are displayed in the search results. So we're going to cover the places that you want to optimize for SEO, and it's going to help you improve your visibility, get noticed, and search higher or place higher in the search results. So let's talk about all those different places that you want to optimize. So listing title is the first place. Now the shop title is crucial to XC's SEO and it helps shoppers find you in the search results um, in Google, Yahoo, and Bing. Um, the most important tag should be placed in the beginning of your title since it holds the most weight for SEO and it will help your listing be seen in the search results. Um, why? Because the listing title becomes the page title for that particular listing. That's why it's so important. You also want to make sure that your title is not too long because it will get truncated in the search results. So including your main tag along with additional tags you want to rank for, but keep in mind the buyer. So be sure it's easy to read and consider adding punctuations to improve how easy it is or organically it reads. So for example, this is a title that I worked on, um, Floral Wedding Invitation with Matching Floral RSVP is a beautiful collection to announce your big day, personalized wedding invites. So as you can see what I did, I included the main tag, which is Floral Wedding Invitation in the beginning of the sentence and added two additional tags, floral RSVP and personalized wedding invites in my title. So I made it user-friendly and SEO searchable by writing a short, clear, descriptive title. And that's kind of what you want to do. You don't want to just add keyword after keyword after keyword because XE does not want you to do keyword stuffing. Plus for the buyer, it's not easy for them to read it. Now in your listing description, um, it also plays a major factor when converting views into sales. So a well-written listing description is going to help you reach potential buyers, get found in the search feed, get traffic from other search engines like Google, and build credibility to cl close out the sale. So you kind of want to do all that in your listing description. You want to optimize it for SEO but you also want to make sure that you're writing it for a customer to read. So you kind of have to meet both criteria. So I suggest keeping your listing description short, informative, and engaging. The first 160 characters will be used for your meta description, which is a, it's like a short snippet of how your listing will appear in the Google search results. And the meta description is, an, is considered an on-page SEO factor. It should not be ignored and including your main tag and writing a short, compelling description of your products is going to entice users to click and visit your page. And that's ultimately what you want. So this is an, an example of a meta description. 
view our stunning floral wedding invitation collection that will add an element of elegance to your wedding day. Click to shop now. So as you see what I did, I wrote a short enticing description of the product. I included the main tag, which is floral wedding invitation and completed it with a call to action by saying, click to shop now. When you tell that to a reader, click here to learn more, or click to shop now, they're more inclined to click and if they click and visit your store, the probability of them buying increases. So it helps you increase your click through rate. So I highly recommend adding call to actions. Now, what should be included in the listing description, right? So you should include everything and anything pertaining to that listing. The main thing to keep in mind is to write a short and informative listing description while still managing to make it engaging. So as an Etsy seller, this is your chance to communicate with your shop's personality through your Etsy products. So an engaging you know, product description will effortlessly persuade buyers to click and buy it now. So you could write an engagement, engaging description by including the following. So write your product description for your target audience. So keep your target audience in mind when you're writing the description. Um, how is this product going to solve their problems, right? Tell a story and use sensor, sensory language. So by using these four, it's going to help you. So I'm going to show you an example of what I mean. So this is an example for the wedding invites, right? So look no further for your perfect floral wedding invite to make your special day shine. Your wedding invitations gives you a guest, gives guess a glimpse at your wedding theme so make them count you already have enough on your plate so let us help you customize your invites with the text of your choice along with your wedding colors create a coordinated set of announcement invites rsbps and more we offer quick turnarounds no shipping fees and instant downloads for some of our items the listing description should not be boring it needs to be engaging and showcase your brand's personality so you see what i did there, right i i wrote it in a way that i'm thinking about who i'm writing about and i suggest you know writing it this way all the time versus just going straight to something very short and simple um making sure you know i in this example i wrote an engaging description that is targeting my ideal customer which in this case is the bride. It, I give her a glimpse of how it will be when ordering from my shop. Um, the potential buyer has a clear understanding that we personalize invites um, with custom text and colors to match their wedding. Um, I also am playing in her emotional side by empathizing that she has enough on her plate. And we can help decrease the workload. I'm also letting her know that we coordinate sets of announcements to match her invites, that we have quick turnarounds, um, that the, we don't have shipping fees, and even some of our items are instant download, all while including my on-page SEO factor, which is including my tags in my listing description. So I'm still creating a listing description for my ideal customer, but while still optimizing the listing for SEO by putting in my tags. And ultimately, that's what you want to do. You want to make sure that you play both. And your listing description should also include the size, sizes, the dimension, the colors, um, ordering directions, what's included, um, how to download the files, making it clear that this is a digital good and nothing will be shipped through mail and add links. And what I mean by adding links is consider adding links to your other listings. So if you have matching items that go with this particular listing, I highly suggest adding a link that, and it will work as a hyperlink that takes them to a new page from your Etsy shop with similar or matching items. And this also helps increase your click the rate and it helps you increase your views and have a higher probability of the buyer buying multiple items from your shop. 
So just keep that in mind that the listing description should include or should answer, right? Any potential questions that buyer might have. It should accurately describe your items. And for SEO best practices, it should include your tags in the listing description as the example that I just showed you. Now, the listing description um, is part of getting the sale, but there's other things that contribute in your store for you to get more visibility. And we're gonna be talking about that right now. So tags, why do I need tags? The tags play a major role in your product's visibility. So tags are your opportunity to include 13 phrases that describe your product or services. So tags help index a particular keyword. So when the user searches for it, your listing will appear in the XC search results. The second part of using a tag is making sure they're using tags that target your ideal customer correctly. So just keep that in mind. Categories. Another way to optimize your listing is by adding as many categories that match or are relevant options. So categories act like tags. So just keep that in mind. So therefore by adding them to your shop is an opportunity to match with the search, which equals more traffic. So keep in mind when adding categories, you don't need to repeat them in your tags since they also act like tags, but buyers will be able to sort by categories when searching for an item and find your products or services. So make sure when listing an item, you choose what category it falls as accurately as possible. Attributes also are similar to categories and they help the listing to be found in the XE search results. So try to use the most relevant attributes available in each dropdown. Using attributes is just another way to optimize your listing to the fullest potential to increase the likelihood of someone finding your products and services. Now, the shop section um, is also important. Another best practice to boost your shop's SEO is naming your shop section. Each section has its own landing page with the page title is pool directly from the section name. So therefore, I highly recommend using keywords that you have researched for your niche and using them to name your section. And as an on-page SEO factor, it's gonna help you drive additional traffic to your shop because you are fully optimizing your shop and taking advantage of anywhere you can possibly place a tag that you could rank for. So instead of having in your shop, in your shop section like all, make sure that you split up your section by name. And this is the blueprint that we created earlier, the XC blueprint where we said, okay, how are we gonna name each section? And that's the same keywords that you're gonna use to optimize your store. So it's really important that you don't just put all and just put everything in one category. It's really important that you create sections and not just put sections, but also um, strategically start naming those sections for keywords that you want to rank for. Shop announcement is another place where you wanna optimize for SEO. So the shop announcement is located at the top of your homepage, right underneath the feature items. And the shop announcement is an area of text where you could tell shoppers important information about your shop. I recommend keeping your shop announcement short and to the point, but also including a tag to boost your shop's SEO. So for instance, if you have a promotion of 20% off on all your listings, don't just use this code to get 20% off of any listing. I will reward it and say, get 20% off of our wedding stationary items for the month of December, hurry offer in soon. So try to plug in a tag in there. As you can see, I included wedding stationery since that's one of the keywords that I wanna, I want my shop to rank for. So that's what you would do. You would plug in that one keyword in there, you know, get 20% off on all of our coloring pages or get 20% off of all of our do it yourself stickers. If that's the keyword that you wanna rank for, put it in the shop announcement. Now the XC shop title is the text that appears underneath your shop name in your homepage. 
And a lot of people use this bit of text to write out like their slogan or tagline. And the shop title is another opportunity to optimize your Etsy shop and boost your store visibility by adding a tag. So you could also add keywords in here as well. A lot of people don't know that. And then the about me section. So the about me section is one of the most significant components of your Etsy shop since you can personalize it and share the story of your business. And it's a great feature by Etsy because it allows you to build credibility with buyers by storytelling and sharing a brief description of yourself, your products, and your services. So use the About Me section not only to build trustworthiness, but at the same time adding tags to boost your shop's SEO. And the last section that you should be optimizing is the Shop Members section is where you could list any employee that helps you run your shop. In the descriptive title, make sure you optimize it with additional keywords. So let's go ahead and do a recap. Please know, you know, make a note of all the places in your shop that you will need to optimize for on-page and off-page SEO factors. So these are all the places that we discussed today, which is gonna help you optimize your store for SEO, making sure that your title have your keywords, making sure that your listing description includes your keywords in an organic way, making sure that you're, you're using all 13 tags, making sure that you, you use the appropriate categories, making sure that you use the appropriate attributes, and making sure that you don't repeat the attributes in your actual tags because they also act as tags. And finally, making sure that your shop sections, your shop announcement, your Etsy shop title, your about me section, and your shop member section are also all optimized with SEO. When you do this, you will get a boost of visibility, you will place higher in the search results, and you will get more traffic to your store. But you definitely need to do this in order to place higher in the search results. So make sure that you make a note of this so that way when you do open your store you know where you need to do it at so i will see you in the next video